Hello everyone, this is your captain, Fantastic World, speaking aboard the SS, Fantastic Voyages, or perhaps US for undersea, in, of course, the Sunless Seas of Lovecraft Country. Anyways, we are back here on the Pigmont Isle, which is, of course, the island of the rat colony. Now, we have a couple choices to make here. Now, I've managed to, of course, remember how the pause button works, so we can actually look at the screen this time while we're doing so, but we're here. We only have three fuel. The question is, what should we be doing with it? As you can see, there's a bunch of ports down here we could hit, of course, if we really wanted to risk the... Um, uh, the amount of fuel, because I don't know if we can actually pick any up in Demo Island. I know we can't pick up any in Salt Lion, so the most logical sense, since we've got the sensitive data, would be head directly to the light ship here, which, you know, worse comes worse. If we don't have enough fuel to make it to London, we might have enough fuel to go here. So we are def and we'll also be able to take this section off the map, which, you know, would be good. As you can see, we picked up quite a few ports here. A full circle, by the way, would be some serious... Um, not a port, amount of uh, port reports. I don't know if it's worth the fuel to burn, but hey, we gotta give it a try. In any case, I think we don't really have anything here we can do, so let's pop this baby up on. Launch us to sea. I mean, we're not gonna run out of food, that's for sure. We're gonna take a quick southwest, um, southeast, no, southwest direction. You know, I actually get east and west mixed up all the time. I don't get anything else mixed up in that sort of way, except east and west. I really don't know why. It's just one of those odd things. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this is the area we didn't map out properly. It might have been a fog bank. Might have been something else. I don't know. But at least it seems relatively clear at the moment. Uh, we got a random thing of baked breeze coming from some distant center. Oh, yeah, we're near Salt Lions. Now, I'm not stopping at Salt Lions because we do not have the fuel for it. Okay, let's turn this light off. We want to avoid engagement. Let's... Mm. Oh, no. Ah! Yeah, that's great. I was going to try to sneak around the other side of the island, but instead I kind of screwed things up a bit, because our hull is really not in great shape, and I have no idea if that section will actually bump into it. I don't think so, but we're going to be able to. Okay, so we have something happening. I mean, we're here. We can't get fuel. We might as well just freaking get the port report and be done with it. Let's we'll see if anything interesting occurs. Like I said, we can't have enough for the actual... Um, uh, what is it? Mineral deposits? What did they call? What did they mine here again? I have forgotten. Seal port. Is that supposed to be seal port? All right. All right. So right. Salt lions. Visit the unmakers. Salt rites. The face of the northern sphinx is all but gone. Lost faces are sacred to salt. They say you were drawn there. To what end? Salt's voice is distant but clear. Huh. All right. Let's get um the port report. Excellent. Let's get back to salt lion. And miss the unmakers, or let's do this. Salt attention. Dive from the Sphinx face down a clear arc into the Z's chilly darkness. Float there in the quiet until your lungs are bursting, until light blossoms behind your eyes. Raise gasping for the prickle of false stars. The sock shoot fox face of your crew. You brought something with you. That's all far. You gain seven. You linger of the goddess salt attention. You have one extraordinary implication. Huh. Wonder if we can sell that. Um let's go. Like I said, from the map's point of view, we need to just basically head directly to the left. Launch. <laughs> of course, Revelation being kind of a dangerous thing in the Lovecraftian universe, because you the truth is always worse. No matter what you know about it, no matter how many times you've read Necronomicon and its sister books, there's always something a little worse than you could possibly suffer from. Hmm. Uh, I got the pirates sticking out that zone over there. I'm not exactly sure why. It's not like a well-traveled zone. Why did we just trip? Okay, well, at least we got this. Okay, that's who. All right, all right, all right. Let's get out of zone here. Good boy. All right, cool. Have a turn around here. Hard turn around there. Okay, we we we're out of here. It will not follow us into London, however. A sailor is praying. Well, we just got shot at, so that's appropriate. Pray all you want. You know, the navy should do something about that. It's like right outside of London. Ugh. 
God's bureaucracy. All right. Do 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 do. And dock. All right, cool. The revenue men. Let them do their worst. You know, nothing to hide. Uh, pay the customs. Do not do. Pay the custom tax. All right, let's just go for it. Vexed and frustrated. Rep. That really doesn't change anything. Okay, collect master messages from the harbor master. Something has changed. Somebody wants to sign on. The blind bruiser attends to business. That's all for now. You have one day in the free. The rose market hasn't changed. It's higher than zero. All right. First thing first. Uh, pass on strategic information. Hmm. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads a summary. Emily, uh, we've done this before. We lost one streak of information. We gained 150 echoes. We've gained Fabry. Now 10, which is good. Submit port reports and ask what he needs. All right. Discretion. Uh, speak to your agent there. In the Empire of the Hands, far to the east. Well, we now have our next major mission. And let's submit our basic reports. Okay. Not sure why red honey is important. All right. Hunter's Keep. That's our usual five. One fuel, which is always important. Uh, vendor Blight. Okay. Another ten. And another fuel. Wither. Uh, let's see. Twenty Echoes. Gained favor to eleven, because Wither is actually one of the new, as a new port. Okay. Gain another fuel. New total four. Pigmont Isle. Ten. Uh, one fuel. Codex. Exile for giving answers. That's Wither for you. Anything else? 20 fuel, 1 fuel, gained 1 favor, now 12. Salt Lion, alright. 1 fuel. Okay, so you have, your cash is catching up quickly. Alright, so leave the Admiralty. Okay. Visit Rose Market, Carouse, hire on more crew. Oh, nine's good enough. Dry Dock, new recruit. What do we got? This will simply increase your movement by 1. Five echoes, fine. No, I'm gonna get it from the damn, uh, from the damn uh, fungus or fungus farms. They tend to be, you know, they tend to be um, cheaper. Okay, from Dark Dock. Yeah, we'll have to take care of that right away. Okay, so what we got? Fuel stores, one point for fuel. Other Steve, fair job. Seventy-five echoes. Hull, no more than seventy-four. 100 echoes. Now, let's see. Let's see. Completely repair your hull. Hmm. We should just... We should definitely, you know... Okay, so, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to take the reliable. Okay, we got a hull at now, of course, 75. All right. So, let's back up a bit. Let's see, it's 2221, not great when it comes to money-wise. Learning Scholar. Ah, but we do have a bunch of stuff to sell. How much are you willing this for? The memory of distant shores. Life on memory, gain 10 echoes. Favor has increased to 3. Okay. Uh, Z story. It's a pretty basic one. 10 echoes. Favors is increasing. And last one, but the extraordinary implication. 250 echoes. Woo, that's good actually. Gotta remember that. Get uh, the sea salt favor from the uh, ladies there and then stop at salt lines. Speaking of which, a quick run to salt lines and back might not actually be a bad idea. Uh huh. Labyrinth lodgings. Grade the morning paper. We'll get a supply and the new recent news. One terror down to 34. Huh. Actually, we didn't get a supply. That must be random in that regard. Okay, we don't have anything you want, and we have nothing here. All right. Okay, we've lost another day, free reason. Okay, so Outlash Artifact moves in the great game. Yeah, we should come here first. We want to sell things. Now, of course, we've got to consider what we're going to do for fuel. Um, Seven, we're not bad, but we definitely need a lot, especially if we're going to make some distance. Let's see. We don't want to... Again... The big idea here is basically take our fur fuel, run over to the um, place to get the last thing of cargo, come right back, and then get that money, and then use that to in order to get all of the uh, all the supplies we'll need for a long run. Now, of course, we've got an idea. I mean, the four supplies and four fuel, seven fuel supplies are 
harder, easier to get, actually. We can sell the recent news for it, of course. But I actually want to go to the fuel thing, fuel transport at some time. Maybe we'll do it here. We can sell off the recent news or get something interesting for it. In any case, we won't be getting the uh, usual run of mushroom, mushroom rind here. But, canvas yards. All right, misery. Yep, I do want to buy a steeple engine. Why? Because if something does happen to our primary engine, we can just use it. Grab it. It's 50 bucks. All right. Might be a little silly to do so, but it's kind of interesting to be able to hold it in our hold and to be able to actually just... Oops. I will. Uh, where's this for? Funding. Where the heck is this? Oh, good grief. Did I lose track of where it was? That's the market. Oh, wait. Just store. What am I saying? Yeah, silly me. Yeah, um... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's as well do. In case something should actually happen to our... There you go. It's only 50. Like I said, it's cheap engine that we can basically install if our own gets damaged from overcharging or such. And that makes it a little less risky to do such a thing. Now, again, like I said, my idea is to head straight to the Zalt Lions. Maybe stopping by the... Uh, since we won't be using the recent news for anything particular, we stop by the sisters. We do that we can see if we can get salt again and i can get that sort of combination if we can get that rolling together in kind of a combo that would be interesting because i remember which one is the salt sea uh i think middle sister we'll find out got a one in three chance of getting it right and then of course we'll have a one in two chance of getting it right after that in any case like i said it's gonna be a quick in and out let's pop on over now um hmm what the heck speak to I've already done that it's locked 10 fuel you have seven five torpedo components increase your iron Ooh. no no what we want to do is we want to always increase our veils that will get us up to 30 veils I think right no it's pages veils 37 yeah let's burn it okay now we've got let's see where is it 38 veils again I'm gonna keep doing this stealth thing as much as possible, because combat is nothing you want to do in a Lovecraftian game. So, Alright, so we'll stop by the sisters, and I think that'll be that. Double check. Pause for a second. Yeah, stop by Hunter's Keep, and then just hit the salt lines, come back, and boof. Now the question is, if we do this and come around this end here, we still have this pirate running around right here. It's causing the interference, so we have to come the long way around. We might want to do salt mine, come to Mutton, and come up to the north there. That's at least another... Um, port entry. I mean, if we really want to get crazy, we could do this all the way around, which isn't a bad idea if you want to just see, because remember, each time we hit one of these places, we get fuel. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And the question is, do will we burn five fuel doing this? If we don't burn five fuel in this, technically, this is not only increasing echoes, but a, but a um, quick, as they say, turn around for that. Okay, so I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's head back to the store. Let's see. Shop. Let's get a yeah, seven fuels will be more than enough for that. We will find, we don't even need to buy the supply, whoops, because we're going to stop by and get a supply from the sister for exchange for a newspaper. All right, we've got for free. Launch this, baby. Wait, I did not. Ugh. Why the heck? Oh, wrong button. All right, so. Full speed out of the port, which is usually a bad idea in real life, by the way. Yeah, I have been in the Navy. Definitely want to do slow in and out of port because, oh, recent events in Baltimore will tell you why you want to do that. By the way, if you have a super container ship, use a fucking tug. Because that's the reason why that ship in Baltimore smashed into the bridge. God. You know, I could do better than that. I have piloted those type of, a, a large vessel. Granted, it had a lot of guns on it, but I was the one on the wheel. Not the one on the guns, though. They wasn't trained for that. Slow to port. Right, Hunter's Keep. Let's, first of all, let's grab the port report. Second of all, um... Okay. A hint to your news. The sisters out there, the contact of the message, the headaches are cured and invited to lunch. You Z-bats cry out there, nothing like birds. Okay. Oh, God. Melancholy, pensive, dramatic, sunny, giggles. I think this one's salt, but I'm not sure. Phoebe. Okay. One memory of distant shore. Okay, it isn't salt, but it's something. One's lost 40 hunger. Good to know. Lost five terror. Gained one fragment. Frankly, Phoebe is storm's attention. 
I don't know, Phoebe kind of makes sense to do for a regular, because this one's a Weasel List worth a few bucks. Um, yeah, we got to write this stuff down, but Phoebe's going to be our standard for this. All right, then, I think I got everything that we need, because there's, like, nothing else here. All right, so let's launch again. That's one fuel, by the way, right off the bat. Launch. All right, so... Right. Pigmon Isle it is. Now, if it becomes a real issue with the fuel, I'll cut it short. But we're trying to make a wide circle around that pirate anyways. And we can get a rough estimate about whether I can do so. And we can buy fuel with what we have around just in case. Okay, so we're hitting the fog bank. That's a thing that's going to happen. At least we're headed in the right direction. One thing about being on the ocean is mostly you know where you want to be. And you can pretty much get there without much resistance. You have to watch the weather and such. But you got to go a long distance. And you gotta not get bored. I will not tell you how much time I spent. Uh, no way. We're gonna just keep going. Okay, doesn't know where we are. Good to know. It'll keep searching Why we get the heck out of the wood dodge here. Good to know this works. Stay as much as we can on the target here. Then we'll get to St. St. Haven. Okay, cool. Not sure we want to help these guys, because they're kind of going to be disastrous for their, um, that restless nights. Alright. Pause for a second here. Oh, shit. I lost it. Oh, well. We'll know better next time. Remember, mistakes are your friends. They teach you what not to do. Alright, port us in. Got it. Alright, so we're not going to help them rise the development, because we're kind of shitty at that. Although... Yeah, we were kind of shitty at that. Um, we are, however, going to compile a report. And grab the M. Right. Do we actually want to risk going to Demu Island and back? Oh, gods. I don't think so. We're just trying to uh, figure out how much fuel we use. We're already down to five. So, what we should probably do is launch and head directly to... So, okay. Look out, shouts. Well, with the fault stars in the cavern are shifting. A rare occurrence. What now? Record the change and sign a name. Eyes on deck for them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but safer. 50-50. Go for it. You are unlucky. Gained one terror. Oh, okay. It's like pigs. It's always pigs. What's wrong with pigs? They never ask about pigs at sea. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. But yeah, we're heading out the salt lines. Hopefully we can avoid the crew there. No, no, that's not what I wanted. Come on, people. Uh, I keep hitting E by mistake. Which is a bad thing now, but if you do it in the middle of the combat and such. Alright, so... Right then. Head a little off this direction, and we're back here. Salt lions. I'll grab the cargo, then zip around. Although, given the fuel is only at four, we're only like halfway through this thing. Mm, good thing we skipped over to Mia Island. All right, direct route back doesn't make any sense either ways. Oh great, four food, which is good, which is good. But yeah, trying to trying to figure out how much it takes for some of these things. I mean, if we have to buy two fuel, that's not a huge issue. All right then. Good, because we have to hit something. Let's carry the Lank Sphinx Stone. All right, then. 200 Echoes lost. Continue. Anything else? Visit the Unmakers. Compile the report. Of course, always. That's worth the point of fuel. And I guess we visit the Unmakers. Fungal. Seek and cheat cakes. We get funding from the Bazaar, it's true. Station 4. I wouldn't call it that out. 5 Terror. Okay. 1 Fragment. Lost 5 Terror. Losing Terror is good. You know? All right. So let's launch again. Now this time... We want to. Cannot, we're going to head directly to Shepherd's Isles. I believe the Shepherd's Isles are one of the places you can buy fuel, which is good because otherwise we're going to have to directly to the London the South if you can't. Do, do, do. By the time we reach there, I'm hoping that we'll hit the uh, thing where you uh, get the uh, extra ag event happening. Shepherd's Isles is kind of interesting in that regard. Best to um, approach it from the east, it seems. Again, I'm watching the fuel consumption, trying to make some ideas. We probably should blow 20 to burn, uh, to see if get some fuel. At least get an idea how much a full run's going to cost us. Huh. Again, with the lanterns. I mean, with the uh, 
Fog Bank. It's well, if you can keep it stealth, it's actually much better. Again, we avoided that entire thing. We could have gotten a Z story from, which is like twenty. Ah, uh, gods. Uh, actually, we're currently on your six, Mister. That is how your detection works. Ooh. Alright then, loot and scuttler. Uh, cask of curiosities, lean pickings, oh well. Some sort of barrel, okay, open it. A frickin' of honey, it's called prisoner's honey, wrung by lamplighter B. Hey, is that the stuff that they want from the, um, wonder what's make up these names, or uh, man, remarks Abel Seaman Cargit. Well, who makes up the name Cargit? Well, actually, we know who makes up the name, Alex, Ken Alex Kennedy. Anyways, we bought to bring you books, I am thinking. Anyways, yep, yeah. alright, cool. Might be able to sell that. In any case, we took some minor damage. Single that? Yeah, we snuck up on those motherfuckers. Field Haven. Okay, that was. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Slow down a bit, especially in the fog. But yeah, good ambush. Now we get the getting the first shot off matters a lot. All right, Shepherd Isle. Okay, picnic and stone. It will give us mutton stew. That definitely okay. Tails, tails. The rest of the Z. Ooh, here's where we need to be. We're gonna talk about the rest of the Z. But simply kind of I got something for you, but I'll need some of the good stuff from London. A lot of that good stuff. Seven supplies and two. We'll keep that in mind. Okay, so yeah, let's compile the report first thing. Yeah, you know what? Tails. We can grab tails and sell them, or we can lose terror. I think we're going to grab Croft. Okay, gain five fragments, and now the Z story. Good. All right. That's about what we need. We cannot buy fuel, however, so let's keep that in mind. We only have two fuel remaining. So, the question being... Hang on, obviously. Question being, yeah, do we have the capacity? I know we can buy fuel at Mutton Island, but I don't know if we can buy it at Abbey Rock. Hmm. The question is, do we risk it? Do I risk going to Abbey, burning, not having any fuel there, and making it to Mutton, buying a fuel there to get home? I think we can get away with that. Let's try it. All right. Let's try it. All right, then. Wolf's Rift. A lot of wolves coming up lately in all of my games. I like wolves. Wolves are like a noble beast. I mean, let's face it, they're like a family family that has teeth. Fuck with fuck with the pack, you fuck one fuck with one of the pack, you fuck with all of them. I probably need to demonetize for that. Let's pull it off a bit so we don't have to worry. Alright, so yeah, one fuel remaining in reserve. Rock, compile a report. Okay, continue, trade supplies, offer a gift. It, oops, not. So, not a great 20 echoes for supplies. We have three, we're heading back. Problem is, we spend 20 exactly for it, so it's not really a major issue. But we should do from here oh, shops, duh. Oh, I should have checked shops when it was over there, too. Might have been something there to get them. Ugh, gods. Again, the fuck is that? Do I even want to know what that is? We are leaving. Okay, we're heading directly to Mutton Island. Hopefully we'll make it. Otherwise, it could be screwed. Uh, sigh. Me and my experiments. Which, don't worry. If he gets killed, we'll just re We'll start over slightly smarter. Witherstone Isle. Yeah, I should have checked for fuel. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Well, if we just drift aimlessly, I'm just going to... You know, kill us and spook Gip. Again, seven's not enough, by the way. But there we are, our last fuel. Will we make it to Mutton Island? Probably. Do 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 do. Don't ever do this again. At least get some more fuel next time. I'm seriously underestimating my fuel efficiency. Fuel. <sighs> my engineer should be better at this. Okay, Mutton Island is right here. Nothing else, we have to make it back to the lighter ship. Wow, that's going to be tight. 
Oh, great. Something to happen to us, too. Alright, shops. Nope. Story. Without fuel, we ship all the... Okay, desperate measures. Search for supplies for something of use. Very few last supplies. Very little remains to you if you're lucky. Gets a chance to go either way. Make a sacrifice to storm. He gets... I could have crushed you. This will require a death. Time to drive a lot. Sacrifice to stone. Not saying much. He's a great wound from which you'll flow. Wound yourself in memory of her. Sacrifice to stall. Oh my god. Back to the story. Breaker's Haven. Drinks. Explore. Pick up. Close. Visit the hilltop. Buy supplies. Buy fuel. There we go. Okay. We're a bit better off now. Can we do it again? Yeah, we're going to do it again. Okay. There we go. Explore the shore. Pick up a Wretched Mog. Why not? We have a Wretched Mog. We lost three supplies, though. Oof. Didn't realize that was going to happen. Going to use one supply to get back. Uh, explore the shore. Chat to the fishermen. Lost one echo port report. Visit the hilltop. Ah, succeeded in pages, gained two terror, gained three fragments. I guess that's it. Oh well. And yeah, I guess we're done here. But at least we have the fuel we need. Okay, so let's launch. So we want to go out if we want to do this again, we're gonna have at least ten fuel to do it. We're only going to get seven fuel back, so technically we're losing about 30 off that port. But, you know, we'll see what happens. It was a good experiment, however. <laughs> Again, good to know where we can do it. I should have checked the stores there. But, you know, these things happen. That was unexpected. Dissect it for knowledge. Do it. All right, succeed in page challenge. Gain 25 fragments. All right, cool. We're not super desperate for food. Uh, do, 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 do. Gained a secret. Speak to your officers to investigate more. That just happened, didn't it? All right, so we've got a secret. Now we've got... All right, so, yeah, we're not at desperate measures yet, guys. All right? We're pulling into the port. Oh, I guess we're up against the, uh... I didn't even realize you could do that. You could bump into... Pay the towing fee. Mm, perhaps not. Look, we're good. All right? We're gonna make it in. Jesus, people. Got this under control. Hang on, everyone. Jeesh. Everybody wants to help you for a fee, of course. Alright, pop us in. Oh, thank God. We're back. Something's changed in the neath. Something wants to sign on. Blind Bruiser has departed. Rose Market hasn't changed. Alright, no. Alright, so we don't need subsistence. We need to submit your port reports. Yeah, that's all we got right now. Okay, so let's pop in Hunter's Keep. That's one fuel and five more fragments. Five more um, echoes. Okay, high risk, no. Unsubstantiated here stay, 10 echoes. Abbey Rock, 20 echoes. Pigmont Isle, 10 echoes. And of course, all this fuel. Salt Lions, and we have this, 20 echoes. So yeah, we made, it's something happened, you know, we, and Quaker Saving, yep. Five more echoes. So yeah, it's not great, but it's something that happened. Liver Sphinx Stone. There we go. 500 Echoes. Excellent. Thank God. So we lost two Terror as well. Which is good. Good. Keep it down. Carouse. We might do that. A new recruit. Brisk Campaigner? Physician? Oh no. I like her. She's good. No. Increases Hearts and Iron. We've got one. No thank you. We don't need a Sailor as well. Perhaps not. Alright. So, London. It's the Rose Market Carouse. 80% mm, chance of success. Dry Dock, I don't think we have to worry about that. Alright, so the Scholar. This ensures we get 10 our Echoes, which is good. Z Story, we get 10 more Echoes. And, you know, that's that. 
20 more bucks from him. Lodgings. Read the Noring paper. Get the news again. Lose terror. And one supply. Excellent. Okay, so the supplies are... What are we hold it? Six for fuel and one for the yeah, hour. Gonna need to stretch that out a bit. Okay. Lodging. I think that's it. Rest in a room. Reduce your terror. Heal wound to give you a restful night. Now, how much does that cost? Ten echoes. That might actually be worth it. Let's do it. Lost one terror. That's really not useful. Okay. So, yeah, terror is at what? Twenty-eight. Ah, gods. How much does it cost to do the, um... Crossing. Yeah, let's just do it. Fortunate, you lost five terror, lost 30 echoes, one recent news. Okay, so yeah, we lost five terror. So a little bit by bit. Now we need to go to just the market, just in case. Eh, nothing we need. Lewis in the Great Game, an outlandish artifact. Maybe we had that earlier. Um, hmm. I don't think we have anything here. Okay. Like I said, we just go to right to the shops at this point. Okay, so if we're going to try to do some serious captainry, I mean, only six wounds, I'm not going to bother training, but yeah, let's uh, buy a bunch of fuel. I'm going to buy like 20 at this point. That's 140, and then we'll buy a bunch of supplies, and then I guess we'll be heading into the east. Kind of feel like we're going into Mordor, to be truthful about it. Eh. Hey. Oh, prisoner's honey. That was strange, actually. Didn't you want honey of some sort? That's red honey, but we could go into the shops and try to sell it. Now, couldn't we? Aha. Uh -huh. Sell it for 20. Fine. Money. You always need this. Gotta keep the money going. Alright, alright, alright. The reproach. On the other hand, that's a deck weapon, and I think we already have something better. Yeah, that's what we have. The, that's what we have. The reproach. If we wanted to get the next one up, it would be. That's a forward weapon. I ran that before. Aft weapon. Forward cannon. Yeah, this would be like... Yeah, we could get it, but we'd make breaking ourselves. And it's like 15, 15, 1, and 4. 15, 12, 12, 1, and 4. Hmm. It would be a bigger gun. You know I like bigger guns. I mean, selling this for 100, too. I don't think I'd be keeping a backup weapon. But yeah, we could sell this for 100 to get the um this one for... For weapon. All right, this one for essentially 400 total. Hmm, that is actually tempting. Let's get the supplies first. Come back and think about it. Bigger gun is a bigger gun. You know what I mean? It's gonna do more damage. It's gonna kill those bastards before we get to it. Cause we, we haven't been seriously doing that, unfortunately. We don't put out enough damage. Anyways, let's see supplies. Let's get a good 10. We're going to hold off on the recent news and not stop by the girl's place for a... Okay, so the, like I said, the cargo will go down, unfortunately, pretty fast. Now, do we want to shell up 300 for this thing? Hmm. That's essentially what it comes down to. Actually, no, it's... Not just it's a forward weapon. This one, the deck weapon, is 500. We sell the one for 100. Yeah, we only have 20 left. That's not happening. All right, so we're going to go up basically as we are. Um, do we want to get another crew member? Like I said, we might stop by on the way. Let's check first pause, then map. Yeah, we've only really got Demu Island. I mean, we have to worry about this thing. We could do that. But again, the more indirect we come at something, the worse off we are. We're heading directly to the east, and there's a lot of east to go to. Basically, Demu is our first stop. Salt line makes the most sense, and if the Corvette's here, we'll have to outrun it, go around south. We basically will do a port stop here. Yeah, we don't want to screw around with going in a circle again. So, let's talk about this. We plan from Fallen Island to Salt Island. We head to Demu Island, and then we head from there east. Might circle back to here. We keep this an idea as we can get emergency fuel from, plus sell the recent news. Head back to Payment Island, Hunter's Keep, and back, or if we really want to get nuts. And if you really want to get nuts, but yeah. Salt Island makes a sense just to get the uh, port information. We stop here at Demu, and then we move on to the dark. Which one are we actually doing again? I think it's in our... I think it's in our hold. Let's see. Advice for captains. Beginner's luck. Recent news. Restful night. Neathbo. Uh, Neathbo Apocryphon. Secret. Oh, we have a secret. Let's uh, do our thing. 
Boom. 39 bales now. That's only going to be interesting. I mean, we, like I said, we're getting a stealth combo here. But yeah. Sometimes helps with test against terror. Okay. So, yeah. Just keep getting sneakier. So. Hmm. It's going to be a while if we can afford a new ship. But yeah, let's head out what we've got here. Keep heading east, and then, you know, we might die screaming, but at least we'll die doing something interesting. And, you know, most people die doing something uninteresting. Let's go. <laughs> to boldly go where some people have gone before. And what is the cap that, uh, if the, um, pirate ship's going to still be there. Still want to get that bigger gun. Let's head around this thing. You don't really cross, you know, port to port, but, you know, I don't think there's, like, rules here anymore. But, yeah. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Still no sign of opposition, which is good. Fed the crew. So we're down to nine supplies now. Baked breeze, so that indicates we're close to salt lines. But yeah, we're not gonna grab we're not gonna grab the cargo on the way out, mind you. Huh. That costs us about one fuel. Just to note for the future. You get familiar with these ports. Even the ones we don't visit that often. Slow down a bit. We get into a little clo easier to maneuver. Alright. Compile a report, just because we can. Continue. Then, Salt Lion's shops. Done. Alright, didn't think so. Visit the end makers. Go for it. Lost five terror. Gain one fragment. Hey, it's a thing. We had to, basically, we had to stop by in order to... Uh, you know, get everybody to just chill out a bit. Granted, it's a, you know, pit that they might pour a stone out of, but it's, people always want to say hi to someone. Okay, now, can we, like, confirm this is empty space? Because I don't like these black spots keep popping up on the map, even though I know I've piled through them. Hmm. Really? We got a lighthouse here? Where did that come from? Or is that a light ship? Hmm. You know what they say sometimes. Okay, so Moody's Light. Is that a new thing? No, we don't have an activation thing. Hmm? Interesting, it doesn't show up on the map. Okay, I can deal with that. Uh, I can't read that because, of course, we're going through a bit of a tight section here. Sometimes I wonder why I do these things to myself. That's Demu Island, correct? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, we're not playing with that thing. Did this just appear? Yeah, it just appeared, didn't it? Alright. Get lower speed, get a little bit more. Um. Mm -hmm. Alright. Fungal station, first shop. Fuel. We can buy fuel and supplies here for the future. Got it. Twenty thirty. Not the best prices, but usually the best we're gonna get outside of it. Tea with the factor. Explore the island. Accept volunteer. Compile a report. Okay. Excuse me. <coughs> we can accept a volunteer. This is actually what I was thinking about to see if they're any cheaper here. It's twenty in London. It is one here. Yeah. All right. So yeah. One crew. Lost an echo. That might be our thing for the day, yep. Alright, so yeah. We don't think we need to grab any fungus here, so yeah. Future, if we have an event, and it's a cheap one here, just to grab a, grab a quick sailor. Somebody desperate enough to be out of picking fungus. Alright, so... Just to keep this in mind, from this point forward, it's going to have to be our primary base for, um, excuse me... Yeah, we're going directly in the dark at this point. So let's see what we've got over here. All right, into the unknown. Maybe we'll even call it the episode. Mm 
Hmm. Now, it would make sense, actually, if we don't come back the same way, because therefore we can grab some reports if we were heading either south or north. But right now we're heading east. There's a ship up there. It's probably not friendly, so let's avoid it. Yeah, definitely not friendly. Mm-hmm. Moving ourselves from contact. Well, that sucks. Okay, damage we took was okay. Great. I hate it when that happens. Okay, so I guess we're going in this direction now. Let's get about two fuel in this area. Guttering, camp, rosary, warm, thoughts of home. Okay, so we've got another lighthouse here. Come at strangest times. Okay, so what do we got here? At least the veil thing seems to be helping. Okay, definitely pile into the bank. Not detected. Good, good, good. Found an island. Good, 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 good. What the heck is this? It's a port. That's the important part. Definitely increase our admiralty favorites. I don't know if there actually is like a point to making it super high. Nick, Nick Masters Haven. Well, discovered Nuccio. Okay, great. Alright, Nuccio. Tactor and functionaries walk the docks in uniforms of postmen. All right, Tactor and functionary. Okay, enormous crown statue casts a killing shadow. The shadows gleam with the rat's eyes. Their ceaseless chittering levels like a tide. A simple report. You may not be familiar with locals yet, but you can provide a familiar overview. Nope. Let's go to the postman's tavern and explore around the beach. Go warmer than it looks. Space is turning direction, but no one seems surprised they have a newer eyeball on the island. Think about it. Lit by two roaring fires, one either end of the room, the bartender's the postman's uniform, almost like all the patrons. A, nose a noseless postman inspector called Blunt Thomas delivers the drinks, clear the tables and stacks, allow cardly air to offer services. She can remove the call. Post worker, they shouldn't be a worker more anymore, of course. Unlocked. Huh. This one of the postal is all tails. Let's, uh, see what that does. You do get one taker. I miss London, he says. I'm tired. Um, inside of my mouth tastes like, uh, Stamp glue. Blunt Thomas gives you a bottle of rum in the use of the basement. No amenities, but don't fancy cleaning the blood off the better floor. The patient takes his uniform for last time and lies on the cold floor. No specters, it's called the air harshly, and puts you out of the room. She comes out later with a scrap of skin from the basement's chest. The patient follows, whistling a tune from Money Hall. You now have one souvenir, an amputation, and you have one treatment. You are allowed clarity air to make a politician. You're no longer that. So what happens if we talk to her at this point? Does she have something else we can open up? Nope. Alright. Cool. Who's thought? Okay, go to the tavern. Continue. All right, ask the locals why I could there the exists of rats. It's a big statue in the corner. Kind of ask how they occupy themselves today. All right, so listen to the postal tall tales. Fishermen brag about the fish that got away. Unlock with new show cultivating friendships. Must spend no more than three. Amazing what you get for a penny stamp. Delicate bottles fly and chimneys ripe. Do not fold in any circumstances. Letters curled through a narrow slot. Rattling, groaning crates brought back the same address every day for 22 days. Running. The windows they pried open. The servants they bribed. The delivery surcharges they paid out of their own salaries just to get rid of one more packet. Hard to tell which they hate more. The senders of the mail or the recipient. Stands to reason that the message is a welcome one. They send another fellow in this person. Reflects the Arielus postwoman. Now have one newcomer Nukio cultivating friendships with postman. Cool. Why does it consist of rats? You know this postman at the end of the bar smiles mirthlessly, or maybe it's just the lack of eyebrows that does it. Long enough carrying long enough carrying things around to get into the habit, she says. She tells you that if you stay out late enough, you'll see some of the postmen making a procession to the center of the island, stringing rats up on the statue like Yuletide decorations, a prayer to the ancient ditty of this place. From the coughing and choking in the pub, you guess the story they tell often tell to newcomers. Okay, we have two. Ask where the hero's postman's hair lasts. So I guess an interesting close package. Alright, cool. Lost one. No, not cure, not pleased. You said still had eyebrows when it came to Nuncio. The postman at the back says, Lots of people find habits they can't deliver the post anymore. What's the fucking habit? Best not to notice. Okay, so glaring. Minus one. Ask how the. Alright, big statue. Okay, that 
it's all of us. It's some sort of spear of the island. Most of them don't seem to trouble it for more than an explanation than that. The hairless postwoman tells you it didn't always look like a fallen London postman at all. It used to have a different face, an old more fashion outfit. That's creepy, actually. How do you occupy yourselves? Okay. You're in work. Okay. Big building in the center of town. Hard to miss. You can work there, too, if you want. Not clear this is a generous offer of, of a threat. Occurrence. Your new show worker in dead service level is now one. Invited to serve. You gain one new show. A newcomer. You're considered a newcomer still. Okay. Back to the docks. Is it, try a shift. What does this even do? Okay, cool. Extensive tour. Blunt Thomas takes you around the office, a small collection room where those retrieving letters may state their business. A much larger set of back offices where new lives, letters, and parcels are collected and sorted. A dank, briny smell that never goes away, presumably due to so many parcels spent time in the water before they arrived here. In the back room is a machine called manned ratted by a postal rat a rattus favor in a pin threaded hat it shovels sludge damp letters into the machine's hopper and they come out dry clean pressed and sorted into slots by quality paper that's a wonderful thing okay okay make a study goes in the back room tough challenge 50 make a collection man the collections in one room 70 percent chance and converse to the postal rat how do you get in this line of work ask for a key to the basement claim up they claim to parcel that clinks it's probably a bottle or something end your shift all right so let's try conversing first Postal right has a pair of spectacles on its... It doesn't, actually. On its re-lettering the front of the water-damaged envelope. Working over the original letters with a tiny brush and ink pot, the repairs are likely to take most of the afternoon. I like to think of myself as being in the resurrection business, he says, stopping to look at you curiously for a minute. Where the circumstances permit taking in dead letters and making them alive again? It doesn't often work, but when it does, a miracle. You know, last place I had a, you know, a letter, dirt, a dead letter sort of thing going was... Um, hang on a second. The yeah, microphone just tipped a bit. Hope it wasn't too bad there. But yeah, that was um, control of all things. Okay, so yeah, I don't know how long the microphone's been like that, but apparently gravity pulled it out of the way, and I didn't see behind the behind the uh, filter. So again, I apologize if it's a bit low. Anyways, let's see. Offer employment to the postal rat's niece. Favorite. She sounds well trained. Okay. Um, ass portal that clinks. Converse the rat man. Okay, let's try it. Tick-tock. So, oh, you were unlucky, very. Hours pass without even turning up trouble. Your solitude is nothing to do with the read a postal instruction manual. We learned that in recent stamps, a slight blemish on the Emperor's crown marks for legitimate stamps. The press was damaged by a revolutionary bomb. The absence of the blemish indicates forgery and the letter may be returned to its sender. The delivery of a letter that should be delivered is not po is should not be delivered by a postal misdemeanor punishable by docking of wages. Assuming, of course, anybody finds out about it, which is extremely unlikely. I've gained one intriguing snippet. Oh, well. Uh, converse. All right, so we could have gone for the companion there, but let's end our shift. Let's go um, assemble a port report. Okay. Okay. Cataloging the peculiars of the place takes many pages. The tailor imports glit buttons and braid just to be able to keep everyone in uniform condition. The fashion of wearing a post bag with nothing inside, wearing it open, wearing it upside down, torn apart, or as a hat. Wearing any part of it that does not show has letters on it. There are sitting rooms papered in cancelled stamps, a bergamot per pomegranate curd on toast, the comments in corpse correct commerce and corpse rats corpses, sorry. Hatred of cats. The of course they take away the income. The absolute custom is ever issuing a paper invitation or invent no matter how informal. It's not the familiar and not quite Londonness of the place that makes it seem so odd. You know, report report, nuncio. Okay. Postman Tavern. I think we explore the beach and that's it. Collect material. Every lap of the way drags up some new letter or parcel. The face of the water is dotted with them, as far as you can see. Carry up a powerful current. Dead letters. This will have flotsam belongs that can be sorted. Argue the man holding a broom. He keeps shoving letters back into the sea. Assist the man. Give me the bill better. Let's grab material. You make your way to the shore in Big Sack. Many of the envelopes are damp to read. Their are is permanently lost, but a surprising number are still legible. They are also parcels. Here and there is a crate, a message in a wine bottle. A sealed cask is bobbed out of a wreck, shipwreck. Your sack ought to get heavy with all its contents, but it's pulled upward in a way, straining inwards with the dead letter off as like a matchable log. You gained one dead post. You currents. Your new show learned to, po learned to pull secret. Now two. Familiar with the pull. Collect material. Okay, so what we're going to do... Uh, we're not going to do that. All right. Go back to the dock. Let's check out the dead letter office. Okay, you come in, make a study, feed your underload into the sorting machine. There we go. Okay, after prolonged whirring, the machine begins to distribute seven invitations edged in guilt into the correspondence of the aristocracy slot, two oversized parcels probably containing books into the books tray, one stamped bronze tablet clanging to the first city. Oh, God. Uric, I guess. Um, lost one occurrence, your worker in dead shift. Like all these now three, experienced shift worker. Nuncio called him friendship postman. Hasn't changed because it's higher than three. So I guess three is the top one. 
But we did get more experience at least. I was hoping to get some cash out of it, but that's just not going to happen. All right. Let's ask. What you're cool. Let's do it. No trouble at all. I surprised the request. Most folks don't like it down there. No one ever asks for a key, but I'll cut you a new one. Be careful in there and come out if you start to feel wrong. Worker in Dead Letter Qualities 4, authorized for backroom access. Study what goes in the back room. Converse the poster rat. Open the back rooms. Let's do it. Deeper and deeper. You had expected a few shelves of supplies, more files of letters, a few years older. No, it's a pit. So deep the lantern light does not show the bottom. A spiral walkway. We're in annihilation territory at this point. Um, If you read the book, you know what I'm talking about. This one with the tower. It descends along its wall, and that spiral opens wider as it goes. Highly recommended. The film is easier to understand. The book is a mindfuck. Um, as you were looking through the narrow end of a very large shell. Lining the walls are shelves and books on the size. size. Some are a few inches square, contain single scrolls of papyrus. Other support crates bigger than coffins. They're made of woody fungus grown to meet requirements. There are no marks of carpentry in the postal rat's handiwork. Three turns of the spiral, and you clearly can't breathe. Time to leave. You come back later. Occurrence. Nuncio. Worker in dead letters gone. Basement cuts now five. Occurrence. Nuncio. Learned in postal Secrets quality is now five. Explore the little basements. You gained five terror. Okay. That was a little weird, but make another snow. We're not going any further. I think we're done here. I think. Yeah. Check out the shop. Again, fuel and supplies at a good cost. A decent, I mean, you know, the cost. Okay. Wretched Mog, Iron Plus Two, Mirrors Three, Pages Four, Hearts One. We're going to keep our veils two uh, rat going, though. Okay. So, what time is it, anyways? Ooh, we're almost, if we're going to head out, we have to do it quickly. Hold. Okay, so, yeah. Where are we on the map, I wonder? Nuncio. Okay, so the question is now, perhaps we should swing back here and, like I said, we'll head out to get Shepherd's Isle, Abbey Rock. Brain stopped by Salt Lions to grab the last of the cargo, or maybe not. We may just burn two fuel in the, from London and come back right with it. So, yeah, let's head this direction, just so we have a greater idea what the map looks like. All right, baby, let's launch. Mm -hmm. Oh, just under the vortex. We're not going into the vortex. Yeah, vortexes are bad. You don't want to enter vortexes. You want to get your enemies into vortexes, if that's possible. But yeah, we're going to head to the southwest, and we're going to see what we've got. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But now we have we now we have an idea of where we're going to, uh, of a you know this trip we where we can essentially extend our voyage by what's all this Dow's eight by having knowing which ports we can we can bounce to and fro if we need to what the heck uh huh this is interesting the principles of coral the corpse rainbow glows from beneath the waves the hell. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? We've entered a fog bank. All right. The music's definitely changed. Electric shiver in the air. The storm is watching. Uh huh. Hope we're marking all this. Discovered Brock's reef. Don't hit it. Reefs are bad. This is interesting. Not sure if it's useful, mind you, but it's interesting. I haven't seen anything we can dock at, so it's just basically us mapping at this point. Fed the crew, we're at six supplies. Maybe we should have grabbed another supply on the way out. Fuel's not an issue. Okay, we've exited the bra the uh, fog bank. We're basically keeping to the uh, bait, to the uh, shorelines here. Discovered wreck of the Emperor Wolfgang. What the heck? Can we actually do anything about that? Or is it just a place that's, like, noticeable? Hmm. How did it end up there? Do I even want to know how it ended up there? This place is a bit eldritch. Hmm. Well, at least I got a lot of fragments. Discovered Scott's Reef. Is that a dock? Can we get... Is there anywhere to dock up there? Port Cecil. Whoa. Let's get this puppy going. Port. Port means we can stop there. All right. We'll get between this and that, and we definitely can get another uh, point of admin favor, plus discharge our assassin. Well, you know, you don't want to carry assassins around too much. All right. Let's slow down a little. Tight quarters and all that. All right. So there's our destination. 
Again, good we uh, made a little sidestep there. We may have to buy supplies. Probably should stop the ship when I'm looking at the map, but, you know, it should be, like, more than one person capability. There's something living up there we don't want to encounter. So let's uh, turn it off. The waves are flecked with light. That's probably not a good thing. You know, light's supposed to stay not there. Yeah, let's not play with that, okay? Oh, Hank, Port Sissel. Let's see what this place is like. Rumpled convulsions of coral fill the water, glimmering with silvery light. The harder you look, the more you see shapes among the chaos, almost like they were sculpted. This one would be a crenellated castle. That one, the horse head. A neat little port huddles into the side of the coral island, prosaic imperial docks and houses tucked away in a baroque organic chaos. And that curious silvery light among the frozen cha um, chaos of the coral, a scene has unreal air of a pencil sketch, scrumpled and discarded. Okay, ask the gnome at Galavante's revolutionary scheme. There's a door carved in Crenellan Castle where Galavante holds a galley Gully, gaily wrapped package in his arm. A long string trails out of it. This is Mumble. Steal yourself and get the door for me. Refuse to assist him. Oh, wait. This is our passenger. Chess. Chess is popular with the principles. The port is full of exiles, drunks, and washed up Z traders. They all play obsessively. Careful. The chess pieces are carved from Shintlak here, and the principles that can be very dangerous. Yeah, we automatically succeed. Explore the coral. Uh, gather intelligence. What happens here? Guess sell your. We don't have the chess piece. Gather Shintlak. Only 31% chance of working. Okay, first of all. You know, let's do it. The right person, place, and time. Beyond the door is a long hat chart hall of chess tables. A dark man from the Presbyterite sits alone in the center of the room playing against himself. The galvan pulls a strike of string. A thousand years is more than enough. Don't you think? He tosses into the room before slamming the door. An explosion knocks him hinges. Crashing between you both, you peek into the room. The man's dead as any of the pieces. The immortal man is dead. You now have one vital intelligence. Your information for criminal quality is gone. Information of error and misery quality has gone. What does that mean? Okay, that's what he has. Okay, cool. We gained one vital intelligence. Okay, cool. The gnomic, the gnomic gallivant dusts off his suit. So ends a thousand years at one less appointment in in King's Leader Castle. Times the cage and manages to get. There. Agree to deliver him. Might as well see it through. Absolutely delightful. We have to help my master pen a happier history for all. So you're telling me your assistance when you reach the castle. Excellent. Probably going to get screwed over anyways. Chess. Gather intelligence. What does that do? Unlock a number of port report. Okay. Look at the port report. The old inhabitants of the first seal carry coral and crustaceans like a disease spotted with silvery light. They like to go up into limestone heights beyond the harbor, to lay their heads against the pillars in the tower, stare at the, the roof of the neath, dream open eyed. Sometimes they speak of things far away. Can't work. The smugglers war, the Fathom King's secrets. Perhaps it's not all invented. All right, we've got that. You know what? And let's just do the straightforward challenge. One more game. You don't know how long you've been playing. You've won one match, another. The rough coral tips of this choice piece are smeared with blood. Yours, your opponents. But you've begun to realize that your moves ca recapitulate the movements of the powers of the Neath. The flukes and their shapelings. That's actually a magical practice, by the way. You can actually use games as a form of divination to basically see how the game plays out, especially its randomization. And then if you know what principles are connected to which symbols in the game, you can actually figure it out. It's kind of like any, any pattern that generates chaos can be used for divination. Sar lurks in London. Uh, Mount Nomad, the prowess of sea, salt, stone, storm. Each move you take the ship, it becomes clearing your mind sharper. Checkmate, you say. When we're gaining, first officer tugging your arm. Ignore them. You have chess to play. With enough games, something else will occur. You exceed in pages, quality. You gained one page. You open your moves. You gain one secret. Excellent. Let's do it again. 90% chance. You don't know how much long you've been playing. Checkmate. You've gained, succeeded. You gained one page. Initial gambits. You've gained two secrets. Very chancy. 46. We're going to come back with more pages. Explore the that. Sea laps around it. Go carefully. Okay. Shadowy predators. Little things. A click of sliding stone where there should be silence. A motion in the shadows if there is thick skirt like ink. A lull in the cries of the Z-Bat. Something is watching you. Drawing closer hour by hour. You and crew draw back watching the darkness. Well, let's wait and end it. As stealth, you have rifles. 18% chance. Captured alive. 15. Retreat to the ship. Run away! Run away! An orderly retreat. You were fortunate. That's all. Gain one terror. You have one tale of terror. You sent it in the murk. It's parallel course to your own. By the time it draws near, the lights of the port are already ahead. Your sailors are at the gangplank, whispering together. Yeah. We're not screwing with it. At all. Okay. Put a blemish ashore. Blemish in ashore. Sail the peace. Officer shops. Game thing as before. Okay. I think, however, that's our hour. Yeah. It's pretty much our hour. So we're basically going to be stopping here in order to be able to consider our next move. Now, hit pause. Let's see the map. Yep. Basically, if we head here and just base and uh, head towards Abbey Rock, we might strike something on the way down. We might not. 
we might want to veer a bit. We've got the fuel for it. Once we get the Abbey Rock, or Shepherd's Isle, then Abbey Rock, then the Canal, Mutton Island, and then Fallen Island. We can even grab the Hunter's Keep if we really want to. Or actually, we could just do everything, come back to the Salt Line, grab the Hunter's Keep for if we're low on supplies, and then hit Fallen London, all with the new um, port reports, plus, of course, the uh, secrets. Now, of course, yeah, the secrets. Why aren't we... Oh, jeesh. I should have thought of that already by now. Let's talk to... Now, the question is, do we want to do veils? And I think that... Speak to. Increase your hearts. Speak to. Increase your iron. Speak to. Increase your hearts. That's veils. Speak to. Increase your mirrors. But nobody... Speak... Uh, nobody has increased your pages. Oh, okay, cool. Do we want to dump it all in the veils? Probably. Um, damage your attacks, dude. We'll have to think about it. You have any ideas where I should go from here? If I should keep just increasing veils so we can stealth the hell in and out of places better. Or if you think I should move in another direction, let me know in the comments down below. Because I think, like I said, we've hit the end of this one. And it's a relatively safe place where we're at. So, yeah, this is your Captain Fantastic World bidding you farewell from the uh, U.S., doesn't except for British, the U.S. Uh, Fantastic Voyages at Port Cecil, and we will see you next time in the Sun the Sea on Lovecraft Country. Take care of yourselves and like, share, subscribe. As per usual, I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise of the dark lords of content and data.